You know, when I first met Trent, it was a pretty special occasion. Michaela had an 18th birthday party, and she had a big sleepover at our house. And the next morning, I knocked on her door. And you know, I'd heard about this guy named Trent. And I knew that they were good friends. And so I knocked on her door, entered the room, and guess what? who would be under the cover? Covers with her was Trent. And that was my first introduction to Trent. I to my bride-to-be. When I first met you at Perfect North about six years ago, I knew you were the woman I wanted to spend the, my entire life with. I knew that beautiful high school girl was going to be the woman that I would marry, but just didn't know if my dream would ever come true. I would have never guessed that the skinny 17-year-old football player that I met at Perfect North would be the strong, hard-working, and loving man waiting for me at the altar. But my dream did come true, and this evening is that day that I get to call you the woman that I have always loved, my wife. I never thought it would ever be possible to love someone as much as I love you. The feelings I have for you and the emotions I show toward you are so much more than words can describe. From the day we met, to our first kiss, to our adventures in Tybee Island, I've always known you were the one for me. Yeah, I kept it a secret for a few years, so what? You have always been something so special that I couldn't even put into words when others asked. I want you to follow your dreams and I know you want to, the same for me. But no matter what, I will be right here behind you to back you up with whatever life throws your way. You make me see the good in things and help me see hope in times of struggle. You are my safe place and my comforter. You are a true friend and I really can't imagine my future without you by my side. The way you treat me is how everyone should be treated. You are always pushing me to do what makes me happy, always making sure I am doing okay no matter what the situation. I can't wait to marry you, to start a family, and to grow old with you each day. We're going to make mistakes, but we will learn from them. I know you are going to be the most beautiful bride the world has ever seen. If I start crying or tearing up when you walk down the aisle, just know that those are tears of joy and nothing less. I can't wait to see you this evening and finally make you my wife. I promise to always care for you and give you everything you want and need the best that I can. I love you, future Mrs. O'Hara. Love your best friend. I can't wait to share every moment with you until the day I die. Our love has no end just as God's love for us. In 65 years when we're old and not all that cute, I hope you can still look me in the eyes and tell me you love me with a true meaning. I love you, Trent O'Hara. See you at the altar. The love of your life. You can turn around, babe. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to cry, you can let go. Oh my god. <laughs> the power vested in me of this great state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Trent, you may kiss your bride. Well, you done done me in your bed. I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through. But you know, to tell you the truth, 
What's really great about these two is they were friends first. They really were. That time that I caught them in the bed, they were just friends. Nothing happened, she assured me. But it was Michaela's senior year. Nothing happened, right? All right. But I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'll be your Colleen always said they were going to get married one day at 23 years old. I think you guys made a pact, didn't you, to get married at 23 years old. And so really this is about a love story of two friends getting married today. And that makes us so very happy that these two got to know each other very well, became best friends first, lovers later. And so we're so happy to welcome Trent into our family. And we're just, uh, we couldn't be more pleased. So I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot be. I'm sure there's no need to complicate. Our time is short. This is our fate. I'll be yours. I don't know, probably a month ago or so uh, before this date, just reminiscing on times of <laughs> Trent and um, all the crazy things we've done between working together, painting cars, firefighting, tearing a lot of stuff up. And um, every single one was just all stories probably better left unsaid tonight. Trent, you are the kindest soul, and even though you stole my other half, I know you will take the best care of her heart. You are always there for me, and even when I throw up in your truck, me and Michaela, you and Michaela always have my back. Thank you for forever letting me be your third wheel, and I know and pray that God will bless and grow your marriage, and I love you both. But I won't. Just take